downtown Baku. The waterside is a focal point for families and friends who come to stroll around Baku Bay. And nestled in the centre of the urban landscape is the city port. The port of Baku, whilst not large, is the biggest and busiest on the Caspian Sea. It opened back in 1902 and from its humble beginnings, it's now the maritime gateway to Azerbaijan, a transit point between Asia and Europe. This port was, especially in former Soviet time, was as a so-called uh, south gate of uh, ex-Soviet uh, Union. And all cargoes uh, uh, flowing uh, to the Iran and further to Indian Ocean was transiting via, via Baku port. And if you swing round just here, I believe this is NATO cargo, is it? Yes, uh, these cargoes uh, belong to NATO uh, troops in Afghanistan. The port of Baku sits on the Caspian Sea. It's the largest landlocked sea in the world. And these shipping routes make up the maritime silk way, bringing goods from all over the region, from Russia, from Turkmenistan, from Kazakhstan and beyond. The port of Baku is beginning a new phase. It's moving away from the old historic centre, shifting south to Alat, 80 kilometres along the coast. This is a suitable place for a port because it's a transportation hub. It's where all the roads going to Russia, to Iran, to Georgia meet. All the roads and railways go from here. In three and a half years, this site will be fully operational. For now, the work is out here, dredging the depths of the Caspian Sea making way for increased sea traffic with a seven-kilometre-long navigational channel. Dredging is making water where there is land, where there is land. We sometimes make water. In this case, we actually make a deep hole in the seabed to have access to a future port for this particular project, we have to remove 10 million cubic meters of soil, which is clay and soft silt. Uh, but there are situations where in rock dredging, uh, every 10 minutes we need to replace the teeth. For the future port, all of this, all this land, uh, on this side will be seven meters deep after the dredging has been finished. It's getting close to 10 o'clock at Baku railway station. This is the night train to Georgia. These passengers are traveling along part of the Baku Tbilisi cars route, a major new rail link stretching back to the port at Alat. Baku's new port will feature a rail ferry system ships with tracks which transport trains across the water and into Central Asia. It's part of a master plan to carry railway freight from China's eastern ports right through to Europe. Baku's new seaport will be of regional importance and a very large logistics centre will be established there. China currently exports 10 million containers of cargo a year to Europe and the US, mainly by sea. If Baku can entice just a small percentage of that cargo through the Caucasus, the economic benefits for the region would be huge, putting Azerbaijan's new seaport at the crossroads of development.